Mr. Sauter. That's a great tie, man. I like it. Forget about my tie. I see you've hired a new employee. Oh, this new guy is great. Wait till you see what he can do, man. Really? Because none of those windows line up properly. Jeez, oh, what a knucklehead. I'll teach him. I will teach him. You better. What's up, Brian? Hey, boss. Uh, I'm trying my best, but I can't get these windows to be symmetrical. You bozo, you're just guessing. You're making me look bad. I'm trying to impress Mr. M. Give me that pencil. I'm going to show you how to construct a line of reflection. So, we have these two triangles, and we want to draw the line of reflection between them. Why? Why? What do you mean, why? Because that will show us the line to reflect all the other windows across. Oh, yeah. Watch this. It's easy to find out. First, we select a point on our first triangle. We'll call that point A. Then we find the same point in our reflected triangle. That's this one here. We'll call that point A prime. The line of reflection is going to be a line directly in the middle of them, a perpendicular bisector. Oh, I know that. First, we open our compass and draw an arc from point A. Then we take the compass with the same setting and make an arc from point A prime. That's right. And now we have these new points of intersection X and Y. Then I just draw a line between X and Y. And presto, you have a perpendicular bisector. And that's your line of reflection. Piece of cake. Is this mess sorted out yet? Sure is. This kid's a natural. Oh, I've got one of the best teachers in the world. That's right. This guy? Oh, brother. 